Well, the weather warming up here and there. Many of us are trying to get outside, take in the beautiful sights of Central North Carolina. That's for sure. But some of those beautiful sights might just be up in the skies. CBS 17 Storm Team Meteorologist Rachel Dunsing tells you what to expect. Sky gazers, get your cameras ready because it should be a nice week to look up. The moon has already risen for the night, but by the time you wake up tomorrow morning, it will be nearly full. The full snow moon gets its name from the heavy snow that can fall during this month. Not necessarily here in North Carolina, but in other parts of the country. That is also the reason this moon is sometimes called the full hunger moon because the cold snowy weather made hunting difficult. So be able to see the full moon tonight and then four planets by tomorrow morning. So if you look southeast around 6 a.m., you'll see four planets in the pre-dawn sky. Venus and Mars a little higher up, Mercury and Pluto closer to the horizon. If you wait too long to check it out, however, it will be harder to see Mercury and Pluto because the sky will start to illuminate ahead of our sunrise at 7 a.m. Finally, we should have a decent viewing of the International Space Station Saturday morning, but you'll need to get up pretty early to see it. It will first appear in the southwest sky at 5.39 a.m. and travel quickly to the northeast. It'll look like a bright dot racing across the sky because it moves more than 17,000 miles per hour. Fortunately, it looks like the weather will be nice and skies will be clear for you to see all these events, but if that changes, the CBS 17 Storm Team will let you know. In the studio, meteorologist Rachel Dunzing, CBS 17. I would love to see the, you know, where you can see Mars and Venus and all of that, but and Pluto, yeah. but I'm not getting up that early. You used to get up that early, but you I did, now. but I remember seeing the ISS go across the sky mm -hmm. late one night. It was really cool to it's see. It's cool, yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, Wes, well. the, remember, anytime you see the International Space Station, I usually update you when there are evening times. Remember, that thing is going 17,000 miles an hour. That's how it stays uh, up there in orbit, but it just kind of cruising across the sky when we see it. And from moons to suns, and